In a league full of softball stars, the U-Triple-S-A pride standing a cut above. With six former Olympians, they're the reigning NPF champs. Meanwhile, the Pennsylvania Rebellion may be a new team, but they possess a nucleus of experienced veterans as well. It's National Pro Fast Pitch between the Pride and Rebellion next. If you love fast pitch softball, this is the ticket. A special backdrop for a very special day. Just a gorgeous evening in Western Pennsylvania. Tonight, the U-Triple-S-A Pride taking on the Pennsylvania Rebellion. So glad you could join us alongside my partner, Barb Jordan. I am Eric Collins. Welcome to Washington, Pennsylvania, and welcome to National Pro Fast Pitch. Kehlani Ricketts, pitcher, University of Oklahoma. Courtney Little, first base, Virginia Tech. Taylor Edwards, catcher, University of Nebraska. Welcome back. It's time now for tonight's action analysis presented by Combat. Take a look at Kehlani Ricketts and her draw ball. This is Dartfish in strong motion. And take a look at the spin and why Kehlani Ricketts is so difficult to hit. Called strike three. Ricketts continues to cruise. That strikeout number two for her. A historic night from Washington, Pennsylvania. We've got the pride and we've got the rebellion. It's the NPF on CBS Sports Network. Hard down the right field line, that's fair. One runs in, Edwards on her way to third, she'll stop, and the Rebellion have taken a one-nothing lead. We've reached the seventh inning, this is how we got here. Take you back to the second inning. Two outs, runner on at first, Andrea Duran, the blue pit. Kristen Sandberg cut down, trying to score. Third inning, almost a similar situation. Runner on at third, trying to tag up with one out. Out at home on a strong throw by Sammy Garcia. The game's only run. Well, it happened in the bottom of the fourth inning. Sarah Prezioso goes the other way. The double scores the runner from first. And it is a 1-0 lead here in the seventh inning. Memorable moment number two around the NPF this year. Kat Osterman and her historic season. 160 strikeouts in 100 innings of work. Did not lose a game. Actually, the Pride never lost the game in which she appeared. And this was last night. Took a ball off of her shin, yet still stayed in the game. She's got gravel in her guts. It's ah. tough as nails. Kat, thank you so much for joining us. We saw a bit of your greatness just a couple days ago. Congratulations, a no-hitter on Saturday. You know, just mixed it up a little bit different. The older I get, the more I got to keep people on their toes. <laughs> What a game last night. Gianna DeSalvatore singling in the eighth inning. Natasha Watley scores, and the Pride, they survive. The Pride now one game away from the NPF title. Welcome to the 2014 Combat National Pro Fast Pitch Championship on CBS Sports Network, the U-Triple-S-A Pride, and the Akron Racers. Season's worth of highlights. Tommy Kona shoots a ball off of Fika. Montalvo holds on to the ball and catches Brigitte Washington in a rundown. Thomas picks it up, makes an errant throw, but the great backup by Jill Barrett, and they nail Washington at home. Then in the game, there's a pop-up, and the second base umpire calls obstruction. And after further review, Jerry Glasgow comes out. He argues the call, and they change the call, and they call interference on Kelly Montavo saying that CEO could not make the play because of her interference. And then Kat Osterman takes one off the leg. Andrea Duran, one of the best defensive plays of the year. This was the Akron Racers' only chance to score. And Duran, what a fantastic play. What a game. It all adds up to a 1-0 win for the Pride. This afternoon, the youngster Kehlani Ricketts will try and close out the series for the Pride, but it won't be easy. Akron's Lisa Norris has been special this postseason with two complete game wins already. Let's do it. Our first pitch in a moment. There's two hits so far through four games, but she's made the most of those hits. Deep to center field. This is gone. She's done it again. Jessica Garcia. A two-run homer.
Watley scores, and the Pride, they've taken the lead. And there's another base hit. The Salvatore drives in low. Six consecutive Pride batters have reached safely against Norris. The gas tank may be on E right now.